If you've ever wondered how to create charts in Excel that dynamically update whenever you change a drop-down selection like so, then this video will show you exactly how to do it. In fact, all you have to do is follow these three simple steps. The very first step is to create the drop-down menu itself. To do that, you need to know what you want the options to be and where you want the menu. Looking at the data, Let's say that you want to select one of the years, and you want the drop-down menu here in cell L4. Start by selecting cell L4, and in the ribbon, go to Data, Data Validation. In the box that appears, under Allow, select List. Then, for the source, select the options that you want to include, which in this case are the four years from the source data. After that, Click OK, and you have your drop-down menu ready to go. All right, on to step two. In this step, you will put together the dynamic data that will power the chart. The idea is to write a set of formulas that will look at the selected year in cell L4 and then give you back the corresponding sales numbers. And these are the numbers that will always show up on the chart. So whenever you change the year, the numbers will update and then the chart will change too. And in most cases like this, where you have the data stored in your spreadsheet, all you need to do is use a lookup function to pull this off. XLOOKUP usually works pretty well. I will also go over the index and match alternative for any of you who are working in older versions of Excel. Either way, start by selecting the top cell where you want the dynamic data to be and enter the following formula equals xlookup function, select cell L4 as the lookup value, and then add dollar signs to make this an absolute reference, because we always want to reference this specific value. Then move to the next argument and select the lookup range, which in this case is the list of years in the source data. And also be sure to make this one an absolute reference as well. Finally, Move to the third argument and select the numbers that you want back, which in this case are the sales numbers for the North region. And we want to leave this one without any dollar signs at all because we want this reference to change whenever we copy the formula down for the other regions here in a second. And so with that, close parentheses and press enter. And as I just mentioned, Use the fill handle to copy the formula down for all of the other regions. Fantastic! Now, whenever you change the selected year, the numbers for the chart all update accordingly. Oh, and if you're using an older version of Excel, you want to follow this very same process, but instead of using XLOOKUP, your formula will look like this instead. Okay. Awesome. Before we get to the chart, I want to quickly tell you about Excel Dashboard Elegance. It's a super cool program that I've put together that teaches you all you need to know to be an Excel Dashboard Expert. I cover everything from how your brain works with visual perception to designing charts and dashboards that are beautiful and effective and how to do it all in Microsoft Excel. I left a link in the description where you can go check it out, and I really recommend that you do. I think you'll be quite surprised. Anyway, back to the chart at hand. Now that we have the dynamic data ready to go, we just need to make the chart. To do so, select the regions in dynamic data. Then go to Insert, Column and Bar Charts, 2D Column Chart. You can then resize and move the chart to where you want it to be. Then select the chart title and give it a meaningful name. From here, click on the chart, click on the plus and uncheck grid lines. Click on the Y axis next, increase the font size to 11. Select the X axis, increase the font size to 11. Then right click on the data bars Format Data Series, change the series overlap to zero, change the gap width to 100%, and close the panel on the right. With that, 
you now have your formula-driven dynamic chart in Excel. And whenever you change the selection here, the chart updates automatically. Awesome. Now, just one quick thing before you go. Let's say that you want to hide the dynamic data here. Well, you can do that by selecting these columns, right click, and hide. But when you do, the chart data disappears. No worries though, this is an easy fix. Just right click on the chart, select data, hidden and empty cells, show data in hidden rows and columns, and click OK, then OK. And that right there is all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Other than that, I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day.